thank you for purchasing your Shermco Model 3 vending machine. Today we are going to show you how to remove the Red Bull shims out of the 12 ounce can chutes. The tools required for this, simple pair of pliers and a Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have those tools, all you have to do is open your machine so you can have access to your soda chamber. Once you have access to your soda chamber, the first thing you want to do is look at where your two motors are. These are where the shims are located. Um, very simple and easy to remove. You will see two thumb screws on the left and on the right side. All you want to do is remove those two thumb screws. Do not put a pair of pliers on them because you will strip off the plastic off and they will break. They are only made to be hand tightened and loosened. Once you remove them, the motor will slightly drop like so. Make sure you put the screws someplace where they do not roll away and you will lose them. What you want to do is just slightly pull on your motor and rotate it 180 degrees. You will see that you have a nut and bolt with a flat bracket here and a simple Phillips head screw holding an L bracket. What you will do first, take your Phillips head screwdriver and all you do is put it right on the underside here into the Phillips head and remove those screws like so. If you have a little play in there, be careful not to pull too hard because you will pull your wires. Once you have it loosened, you can always remove it the rest of the way with your fingers so you do not drop the screws. Set those to the side so you can save them for a later date for if you want to reinstall your red bull shoes. Remove the second screw here. Remember, just loosen it and then remove it with your fingers so you do not lose it. Once they're removed, the L bracket will kind of sit in the recess so you don't have to worry about it falling. Pull it out like so, set it down. The second thing you want to remove is the flat bracket. That is a pair of pliers that you'll want to hold your nut with. You can also use a socket wrench if you have a socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. How I like to do it, you insert the Phillips head screw like so. Kind of just hold it there like this. Take your pair of pliers and grab the nut. Once you grab the nut, you can squeeze on it and that will hold your motor up. And you can just kind of support it with your back fingers if you like. Remove the screw part. Make sure that you keep the pliers on the nut so it does not fall away. Remove it like so. And the screw should drop right out like that. Make sure you watch where it goes so you can save it like I said, for reinstalling. Put the nut down, go to the next one. Break the nut. And simply loosen it and remove the screw. Now on this one, when you do it, the plate is gonna drop down with the screw. So you can kind of loosen it up and then just remove it with your finger. So you can still have grip on both of them. You can see you remove the plate, you have the last screw, and you have the nut with your pliers. As you can see, both shims are removed. It's that simple. Then you just rotate your motor back 180 degrees to where you can see the motor facing you. Insert it back into the chamber like so and lightly lift up on it. As you can see, I can be able to do it with one finger. Take your thumb screws, reinsert them on the left and right side. Remember, you just want to hand tighten. As you can see, that is it. Then you do the right side. Make sure your holes are aligned. Tighten it up. That shim is removed. Now you want to remove the spacer that is inside of your column chute that will hold the red bull in. To remove that, lightly grip on the back side right here and kind of twist it up and just pull towards you 
and the shimmel will move out that easy. There is also one on this one, the bottom one, on the bottom shelf right here. Same way, lift up on it, pull towards you, and it slides right out. Removing red bull shims are that simple and easy. Um, if you have any questions, you can call us at 1-877-414-5096. Uh, we'll be happy to assist you and try to walk you through anything we can. Um, and again, thank you, to, thank you for purchasing your uh, Shermco Model 3. Thank you.